There are four important days in the lives of people in Gibraltar. They remember where they were when Kennedy died, when man landed on the moon, when Kayana Lodino won Miss World, and when the GFA got into UEFA. This has definitely united Gibraltar to feel proud of where they live and to say, well, look here, world, we are here. The national spirit of being accepted into UEFA has, has just increased the support and fanatism of football here in Gibraltar tenfold. It's a great feeling to finally to be playing against uh, nations, European nations that uh, belong to UEFA. I think uh, being a part of UEFA will improve Gibraltar's football in various ways. It'll improve technically, primarily, because of the exposure to uh, an increased level of competition. It'll give our, uh, our children, our kids and our younger players an opportunity for their level and their ability to be seen and appreciated uh, Europe-wide, which they've never had before. Football is the biggest sport worldwide, I would say, um, and it puts places on the map. You know, there's a lot of nations, that, small nations that you might never have heard of had it not been for football. Well, I think beyond football, the value of being in UEFA is that, of course, when Gibraltar's name is called out, when it comes out of the hat, when we play a match, people remember Gibraltar not just for the 11 guys playing on the field, doing us proud, but because of what Gibraltar stands for internationally, and that's the huge value of being with a beyond football. We have been very uh, uh, happy to receive the commission to develop this amazing project for a stadium in Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a very special space and a very special uh, area, I think, in Europe at the moment. Um, my experience of Gibraltar has been since I was about six or five years old. I've actually lived very close to there and, and, and been coming and going to Gibraltar for, for quite a long time now. So I, I really do understand uh, the, the place and the people quite well. The responsibility and the actual idea to design such a strong building for Gibraltar uh, really for me is quite important not only professionally but also personally as I feel it is one of the buildings that can really contribute to uh, Gibraltar and to the people of Gibraltar very strongly. It's important to have a new stadium in Gibraltar primarily because the one we currently have which is the Victoria Stadium doesn't meet um, the, the UEFA criteria for a Category 4 stadium. A Category 4 stadium is the minimum category at which a country, a stadium, can host a full international match. Of course the question now is how do we take football that step further? And what the GFA are doing is seeing the stadium as the first step in that generational development of football. It's important to have a new stadium, uh, what they call a Category 4 stadium, in using UEFA terminology, because unless we have that stadium, the whole community won't uh, participate in the full UEFA experience because we can't play senior national competitive games in our current stadium, which is classed as a Cat 2 stadium. Uh, so in order for the, the, the whole of Gibraltar to enjoy the fruits of our being members of UEFA, the new stadium is imperative. The current stadium has no facilities in terms of medical treatments. If you go to any stadia in Europe, uh, the first thing you, you'll see that there's a huge medical side of it. The first thing you see as you exit a, a, an actual pitch is a medical bay, fully equipped for any sort of emergencies, and these are things that we have to have. The new stadium is going to be fantastic for Gibraltar. Obviously, right now our first game, for example, was played in the Algarve. We're grateful that Portugal have allowed us to play our games there, but obviously it's, it's not the same as being at home. I think the new stadium will, will provide an atmosphere which has never been seen here in Gibraltar, and with the fanatics that we've got here in Gibraltar, it's going to be incredible. Well, I think our strength as a small cluster of 30,000 people comes in the talent that Gibraltar has been able to nurture. Whether it's in politics, whether it's in the arts, Gibraltar has grown based on the talent of the 30,000 people that make up this community. And that's why we consistently punch above our weight. You can judge uh, a, a place by its culture. 
And there's so much, not only uh, in relation to the fine arts, but dance, music, theatre. I'm actually very excited about the idea of this new stadium because we often have people approaching us who want to bring in international acts to Gibraltar. But really with what we've got now and the seating capacity, it is really not financially viable to bring in any important acts to Gibraltar. Um, we really need a big venue. I can imagine all sorts of cultural events in the new stadium. I imagine the jazz festival really exploding into something very big. Once we would be able to do it there, then classical concerts, um, rock concerts, well, it really is amazing the number of things that we could do. This uh, idea of bringing together culture and sport is something that is very important. And for example, if you look back to the start of the Olympic Games in, in Greece, there was a whole cultural aspect around uh, the sporting events. There was not only the sporting event, there was theater as well, which happened at the same time. There was poetry. Pinda wrote the, you know, these Pythian odes for the ones who won the trophies. Uh, sculpture, you know, most of the winners got a sculpture in their hometown. So I think it's a, it's a brilliant idea to mix the, the two. And I like, again, the idea of having the stadium there together with that cultural aspect because it overlooks the strait and it looks towards Africa, from Europe towards Africa. So that there's that bonding. The stadium at the Europa Point will bring a lot of economic benefits to Gibraltar. I think that the people of Gibraltar should be excited about this. We also want to, uh, want to reassure people that all the uh, amenities that are there now will be incorporated into the whole project. We're very conscious at the GFA that for the stadium to be viable it cannot just be a, a football venue. It needs to um, give something back to the community it exists in as well. One of the things that really we want to do is for the stadium to become not just a stadium for football, it's also a community building. There will be sort of areas for restaurants, I mean tourists are going to be coming there to go to this amazing view. Looking over the Straits of Gibraltar, there will be retail areas, there will be uh, community areas, there will be areas that uh, could provide um, support to companies in Gibraltar to go there and to work there, to meet there. Culture is also important. We're looking to maybe do a, a museum. Stadiums should give to the people um, something that is able to be used every single day of the year. We certainly will be looking at environmental issues. Our, our ideas and all our buildings is to respond to the environmental issues, uh, plants, wildlife, the general environment around the building. So even though it is, though it is a very large building, we will be looking that the building responds to the environment which we are placing it in. The whole philosophy of our office is very strongly orientated toward environmental issues. We really look for stadiums to go from what we call from cradle to the grave. We have communions done in, you know, baptisms are done in stadiums. We've actually created a, an, an, a place for the ashes for people to be buried there. So we say from the cradle to the grave is quite true. So we need to make the stadium work from very young people to the older people and everyone can use it, not just for football at all. In terms of the economic benefits that the stadium will bring, job creation is another one, um, it, not just on, in the, the pre-construction and the construction phase, but also subsequent to that when the stadium is built, when it's running, we will need management staff at the stadium and there will be also ancillary services which need to be provided. There will be restaurants, and bars, uh, leisure amenities at the stadium which will need to be serviced and this will be uh, all part of a job creation package which the GFA is very happy to be and very proud to be a part of. If you look at Europa Point today and you see what it's going to become once the stadium is there, this is one of the most exciting regeneration projects that I've seen since I've been elected. We're really going to add to the leisure facilities available, we're going to add for what Gibraltarians can do in that area, we're going to add to what we offer for our tourists in that area. An area that is presently much underused is really going to come into its own at last. Europa Point for me uh, is the location. I mean, it is the site for a stadium in Europe. I, I cannot think of another site which is better, more spectacular and more amazing than the Europa Point Stadium site. And there's an opportunity to 
uh, use the stadium as a community catalyst to really create uh, Europa Point as something very, very special and I think one of the most amazing areas in Gibraltar. There's an opportunity to uh, bring back the heritage of the fortress wall and actually create a new walkway on the front of, the, of Europa Point. I think that there will be a symbolic value to the stadium as well, which no other stadium in Europe can have, and that is the fact that it's on Africa's doorstep, that it is effectively a, a bridge, acting as a bridge between um, the European continent and the African continent. With one view, you're watching an ocean, you're watching a sea, and you're watching three countries and two continents, all in one view. Well, the stadium could become a symbol for Gibraltar. The emblematic building uh, is very hot now, something that after especially the, the Guggenheim in Bilbao, or you've got the, well, the Eiffel Tower, obviously Gibraltar as a physical entity is pretty powerful. It's like this sort of huge sculpture, but the stadium could become an extension of that idea. We feel this building uh, will be another piece of architecture for uh, the history of Gibraltar. The fact that, that Gibraltar has actually managed to become the 54th nation of the UEFA is a worldwide achievement which will give Gibraltar worldwide vision. Sport is a very good vehicle that Gibraltar can use to be exposed to the world and, and the stadium obviously is the cathedral of sport for Gibraltar. When Gibraltar plays in the national stadium, it's going to be a very, very proud day to see the national colours, the people all going to support their team. It's going to unite Gibraltar. So it's got not only the international aspect, it's got the local aspect. The people will feel proud of flying their flag, the red and white. I'm looking forward to seeing that stadium completed so much. It's, um, I can tell you that practically every day I drive past the site and um, I occasionally just stop there in my car and I just try and envisage what it will look like in my mind. Um, I think it will be an incredible feeling to be able to step out on it. I think the first time that Gibraltarians visit their stadium, because it is their stadium, they will see that it's, it's, the journey's been, been worthwhile. And when our national team step out there for the first time, national anthem gets played at that stadium for the first time, I think everybody in that stadium will see that it was a very worthwhile um, undertaking. I can imagine it to be just probably the highlight of my career. Playing here in Gibraltar and, and our own home turf, in a qualifier especially, would just be amazing. It'll be a dream come true to walk out on the new pitch because that will uh, be the climax, so to say, of our long hard struggle to be recognised in European football and indeed world football. This is good for the GFA. This is good for Gibraltar. This is good for our place in the world. It's the beginning of a new chapter for Gibraltar football and for Gibraltar as a whole.